guys, welcome to a Freedom in a Budget. It is meal prep day, it is Saturday morning, and I'm going to get everything done for the week today because on Sunday I like to go to church and just relax, get some editing done, but I wanna do all my cooking and everything today. So I have my workout clothes on. I don't know about you guys, but that just gets me motivated. If I have like my PJs on or even just jeans, I'm not feeling motivated. I put workout clothes on and I'm like, all right, let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. So that is a tip right there of just putting on workout clothes and just using that to like get yourself motivated. So I'm gonna go and do some meal prep, do some laundry, do all sorts of different stuff. So let's get motivated. I am still drinking my coffee. This is my second one of the day. I love coffee, guys. All right, so I just made my to-do list. I, okay, here's something y'all may not know about me. I sometimes put things on my to-do list that I've already done because it makes me feel more accomplished to check them up. So apple pork chops, I actually did these yesterday, so those are good to go. So then I'm gonna do meatloaf, mashed potatoes. I have to unpack Jamie's suitcase. He just flew in last night do laundry, get stamps, and then prep my grapes as well. So it is a busy meal prep day. This is just a simple meatloaf that I'm gonna be doing for my coworker. I'm actually not gonna be eating it. I'm gonna be eating the apple pork chops because this is not a Weight Watchers friendly one. Um, so, but he pays me to do it. So it's a great side hustle. And I'm actually gonna split it with Jamie for him. So it'll be half my coworker, half for Jamie. So it will be great meal prep for the week. Skylar is helping me unpack Jamie, aren't you, Sky? Yeah? She's helping me unpack. But here is a tip, guys. So my husband always just leaves his socks like this. So what I do when he's packing is I make sure that all of his socks are together. So that way, if I find any socks like this, I know that they are clean. And then any socks like this that are inside out or this, I know that they are dirty and these ones don't have to be washed again, which saves so much time. Time to unpack, huh? Yeah. Anything good in there? No, just, just helping mama. <laughs> You're silly. You're a silly boy, huh? Is the mixture so far? So we have a beaten egg, um, 90. 37 ground beef, 8515 ground turkey. I use a soup mix, an onion soup, um, instead of onion. I hate onions and so I hate dealing with them. They make me cry and they're just miserable. So I don't use that, but the onion soup adds so much great flavor to it. And you still get those like little onion bits. Um, some parsley, some uh, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce and ketchup. Now I'm just gonna make my own breadcrumbs. I just toast bread and then put it in my food processor. This is just a simple Black & Decker um, food processor. And then I'm gonna pour the milk over. It has a half a cup of milk and let the breadcrumbs soak. And then they will help keep the, um, the meatloaf nice and moist. So we've got the bread stuffed all down there. <laughs> It looks really gross, but trust me, soaking your breadcrumbs in milk really makes a total game changer. Meatloaf is ready to go in the oven. It is all packed in here. I don't use normal meatloaf pans. This is just a gold touch pan, and I love how these come out in meatloaf. And it cuts a little faster because it's not as deep. It's only like a little over an inch deep. And so I packed the meatloaf in here, and then I made a sauce glaze with just ketchup and a little brown sugar mixed together and then just topped it. Now time to tackle the dishes. Yay. Excuse my dryer in the background, but I've got a spy watching every single move as I cook. What you doing up there, Piper? Yeah? You're just hanging out, watching me? Excuse the washing machine sound behind me, but let's see where we are on our to-do list. So I have done the meatloaf. It is in the oven. 
mashed potatoes not yet unpack check laundry is in the washer get stamps nope grapes nope so we've got three things that checked off so far does anyone else get special helpers when they're folding laundry and have to make piles around the cat yep oh yeah just swaggle over the clothes no big deal oh yeah let's just lay on the clothes huh babe piper what are you doing just laying on the on the shorts sure go for it no big deal meatloaf is out of the oven one of the things i love about these pans is it pulls away from the side it is so non-stick and so awesome i did have to cut a little bit just to make sure that it was cooked on the inside which it was it wasn't pink at all so now i'm just letting the meatloaf rest and i am making mashed potatoes i've never done this before but apparently you just have um, water salt and butter in the pan and then you're going to mix in milk and the flakes so i don't know i don't need this stuff but it, like i said it's for my coworker and jamie and then i have some peas that we're going to add to it and then i'll show you how everything pieces together and just like that meal prep is complete so there are three different things that we're looking at here back here in the last row is my coworker's lunches he specifically said he does not want veggies even though i tried to get him to eat his veggies he said he just wants meat and potatoes so that is what he has he has the meatloaf with a little ketchup on top and then mashed potatoes though that's his and then jamie's is the second row and his is the meatloaf mashed potatoes and peas because he doesn't have a choice and he needs to eat his veggies and then these are mine so i mark on the container k for kelly and then 10 points we know that it's 10 points and this has the rice pilaf that i prepped this is the meal prep that i did and i have a full collab video on this it was a fall cook with me in the slow cooker so it is apples pork chops broccoli and rice pilaf all for 10 points so that concludes meal prep feels so good to be done i have been going non-stop all morning and i decided to lay down for a minute on the couch and look who joined me i was just watching the interview of Joe and Chip Gaines with Fixer Upper on the Jimmy Fallon show. No, Jimmy Kimmel show. And he is just going to town on this blanket. So sweet. Oh, where's he going? Let's just take a little, little rest. I desperately need stamps because I have some thank you cards and some congratulation cards to send out because some of you are debt free and so I decided to just walk to Publix to get a little walk in while we go. So let's go to Publix. Jamie and I are booking our excursions for the cruise. Here's Skylar and there's Piper watching TV. So into me. <laughs> And just like that, laundry is done. This is a good, good feeling. Two loads of laundry done today and like three loads yesterday. That's a lot of laundry. Grapes are washed and prepped in my food saver. These are black grapes. Have you guys had black grapes? They're absolutely incredible. They're so, so good. I love them. They're so sweet and delicious and they're seedless. So I have them in my produce saver. Now these, you're technically not supposed to wash your produce before putting in. But if I don't have it washed, I'm not going to be as likely to eat it just because I'm lazy. So when they're washed like this, I go through it way faster than they would even start to go bad. So this is just the Rubbermaid Freshworks Produce Saver. And I have these in my Amazon store. They're awesome. All right, so let's look at our to-do list. Meatloaf, yep. Mashed potatoes, you saw that in my meal prep video. Laundry, check. Get stamps, check. Even took a walk. And grapes, check. So that is everything done. This is a good weekend. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Let me know how you guys did this weekend and let me know if this was motivating. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.